Actor Ajibola speaks on ex-president of Basenjo sleeping with his wife files lawsuit. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Nollywood actor Sam Ajibola has sued a blogger for claiming that former president Olusego Basenjo is the father of his newborn son. Like when I heard the headlines, I was like, this headline is really confusing. <laughs> Since the headline was confusing, there is a detail, please. Ajibola, who is popularly known as Piff and the Johnson, has initiated legal proceedings against a TikToker as well as Tundi and not for publishing derogatory posts about his wife, son, and ex president Olusego Basanjo. The TikToker Ifanya Neokwe had published a photo of Spiff, his wife, and son with the ex Nigerian president alongside a caption that suggestively questioned the paternity of Spiff's son. The blogger had written Obasanjo and his secretary's baby boy. Tundi had not different thereafter shared the post on his Instagram page and they received some derogatory comments as well. Reacting to the post, Sam said he is hot by it and he is hot by it as that narrative had gone on for too long. He shared a DM he finally sent to his wife apologizing for the post and stating he had deleted it from his page and had also reached out to Tony and not to delete him as well. The actor shared a screenshot of his wife's response to Ifani on Instagram where she stated that while she appreciated his apology, he had defamed her character. Sam stated that a national security advisor, the magistrate of a Supreme Court and his wife legal advisor are on top of the matter as they are found to escape good to use in warning others to stay away. He wrote, Trouble they sleep, Yanga go we come. What him they find? Palaba him they find. Can't they sleep? Rats go bite him tail. What him they find? Na palaba him go get. So, contrary to many opinions as to why I haven't come out to clear the air on the defamation of my wife's character on this issue, you all need to please bear with me as I needed some real good time to properly analyze all aspects of it and come up with the best solution to all of these speakerings that has been happening since I announced my wife to the world. This harassment has continued from my engagement news where they began with false allegations that my wife was older than I am and I was controlling my and was controlling my decisions like leaving the Johnsons to so blatted lies that she called that she was called my class captain and now for over a year those truths have further bare false witness to the point where they question my wife on questionable fidelity to me and ultimately bullying my innocent son who they have planned to grow and meet who they have planned to grow and meet these false allegations. This is the very reason why a lot of famous and prestigious people crave for private lives. It is because lately quite a number of young people on social media, as we have observed from the comments at all, are mostly dysfunctional and insensitive youths with confidence in their false witness when they display that disrespect for others in a society where there is a huge lacuna of societal leadership. This clearly as in the case of Gossip Bobo who is sharing his misinformed opinion about our lives in public to the detriment of their mental health relates to the almost Nigerian act of most Nigerians who can literally die from not minding their own business. Honestly, I am hot and for the sake of being a proper boy from the streets of Suriliri, I know how to find justice there. But for the sake of my emotional maturity, I have found more decent and honorable ways to handle this lingering issue from the various power I know in the judicial and security sector. As we speak, a national security advisor, a magistrate of the Supreme Court and my wife legal advisor on top of the matter. Thankfully, we have found a few scapegoats to use in warning others to stay away. See the screenshot of the lawsuit below. Dr. Nyechi Ipazo Sanako, 17th November 2023, defamation of character of Mrs. Sandra Ajibola. We are cancelled to Mrs. Sandra Ajibola, hereinafter referred to us 
a client. On whose instruction we write his correspondence. On the 15th, we write this correspondence. On the 15th of November 2023, our client's attention was drawing to a video from your handle at Gossip Bubble, making rounds across several social media platforms, particularly on Instagram, where in a picture depicting the images of President Olusha Gobasanjo and our client family was made the subject of discourse. The said video was embellished with a narration which employed a mastery of inuidos to allude to the existence of a risk relationship between our client and the former president. Our client has, has at no point whatsoever been the secretary of president to Lucia Gobas and Joas claimed in your video publication, nor she has never been a staff in this employ. It befuddles the mind how you came up with such an assumption, yet not being one to let the truth get in the way of creating social media content, you proceeded to publish the said scandalous video, hence bringing a client to disrepute and exposing her family to content and ridicule. Your injurious publication, which has gone viral, currently adorns the media spaces of several notable bloggers on Instagram, including but not limited to Crass KHK, Savage Responses, and Mazi Tunde Not, whose glowing credits of your making of a post you appreciated in their comment sections. That you that you immediately take down your libelous video publication from your Mazi Tunde Not Instagram page and all other similar media apps platforms under your control that within 48 hours of receipt of this correspondent you publish in one national daily in Nigeria and on at least three popular social media accounts on Instagram and Twitter respectively a public apology to our clients and a clear retraction of your false publication about her and her family that you chronicle while a sworn affidavit and inventory containing the list of medias and evidence of publication in compliance with the above demand to be sent to us within 72 hours from the date of service of this correspondent to you, that you pay the sum of 10 million naira to a client within 72 hours of receipt of this correspondent to you by raising a bank draft or check in the name of a client.